Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the Play for Fun. Today, I'm starting a new challenge and building a completely new city. In this build, I won't be using any mods, and I'll be constructing my city without enabling the unlimited money and everything unlocked options. As you probably know, the new update has been released, which has completely overhauled the game's economy. Based on my experiences since the update, we need to play a bit more cautiously to avoid bankruptcy and improve our city's economy. To start, I'm planning to begin my work in this section of the map. I'll start building on the right side of this area with a design in mind for my city. Initially, I can only develop a small part of it on the right side. On the left side of the highway, I plan to place the industrial zone along with farms. The key to saving the fledgling economy of the city? Farms and mines. I'll start building the base roads cautiously while keeping an eye on the budget. My goal at the beginning is to balance the city's budget by constructing farms and mines as the population grows. It's crucial to monitor the economy from the start, otherwise the city could go bankrupt. All right, in this part of the city, I'll create a small industrial section next to the farms. For now, I need to keep everything compact and close together. As the city grows and the economy strengthens, we can rearrange everything to make it look more like a real city. But for now, it just needs to work well and be profitable. After zoning, I can start the game. Hey citizens, come on in. I've got everything ready for you. I hope you like it here. It might not look very pretty right now, but it has a bright future. Okay guys, the city has leveled up and unlocked some new features. Now, the citizens can have a small clinic, and also a cemetery, which I hope we won't need to use anytime soon. Also, now I can buy new tiles in suitable areas to build the city's stone mine. Since everything in this industrial part is temporary and will be moved later, I'm not focusing on any special design for it. I just want it to work for now. The next step is to set up the city's waste management and recycling system. After that, I'll wait for buildings to be constructed in the zone areas. Once that's done, we can use the reward from leveling up the city to get enough budget to add a residential area. For now, I don't plan to increase the population too much. Everything will grow slowly and steadily, step by step, 
to keep the city under control. I want to help increase the city's income with a little tax manipulation. Of course, there shouldn't be too much pressure on the citizens. Just a little more tax. And yes, the level up I was waiting for. It's time to expand the residential area a little. I want to maintain the model I have in mind for this city. I always like to make cities with geometric patterns and their combinations. I hope that in the end, it will be something beautiful and efficient for this city. Alright, now that I've unlocked the option, why not build an elementary school and a high school? Even though I don't have enough budget, borrowing a little won't hurt. Great, next level up. New prizes and new unlocked features and services for the citizens. Let's get to work. By taking a big loan, I can build all the necessary services for the citizens and expand the industrial area a bit. Well, friends, the next level up is crucial. I can make a good profit for the city by building oil wells and finally make the budget positive. I'll use the remaining money to pay off some of the loan debt. The less debt we have, the better. Don't worry. The city will soon be making a lot of money. All right, that's done. Now I can use the newly unlocked zoning areas and build office zones. Also, I can add new apartments. And most importantly, the oil wells are unlocked. The city is very close to becoming profitable. Another level up, finally, the budget is positive. 
It was a close call, but we made it. Now that we're profitable and thanks to the level up I have some money to expand the oil wells a bit more. And also, I'll create a few parks for the citizens to enjoy and spend their leisure time. I'm always thinking of you my little pixelated friends. Alright guys, I let the game run for a bit so the citizens could get more familiar with their city and we could gather some funds. The city has progressed well, and everything is okay. We have a few minor issues that need service upgrades, and it's clear that the waste management system is screaming for an upgrade. But I think that's enough for this episode. I don't want these episodes to be too long, I want to keep them short and sweet. So, for the next episode, we have a few tasks to tackle. Upgrading services like waste management and healthcare, adding more schools and parks, introducing a postal system, and maybe a public transportation system, expanding farms and mines for more income, and for sure expanding residential areas. The most important thing is that the city now has a small, profitable economy. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'll start working on it right away and aim to upload it in two to three days. Thanks for watching the video up to this point. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I read and respond to all comments. And if you enjoyed the video, it would make me very happy if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. As always, happy building!